we are happy to announce the release of the next on-premises version of WorkTest 2020, formerly known as Workflow Management Software. One of the key features delivered with this release is the ability to support the Open API standard as part of our Web API functionality. The Open API specification, originally known as the Swagger specification, is a specification for machine-readable interface files for describing, producing, consuming, and visualizing RESTful web services. By leveraging these files, which have to be provided by the creator of the API, the system is able to provide an easy-to-use interface for configuring web API calls. The video walks you through various scenarios, starting with a simple web API lookup. Note that web API calls are now also providing header support. The second scenario covers the use of the web API lookup as part of a form, here configured as a drop-down control. Lastly, let's take a closer look at the web API activity that is used within the creation of workflows. Once you drag such an activity onto the canvas and start configuring it by selecting the web API that we configured in the beginning, the benefit of Open API comes much clearer. The list of available operations groups and then operations is provided through the Swagger file and the system shows the available options to the user right away. In addition to the existing integrations into Microsoft Active Directory and the support for RODC, that is the read-only version of domain controllers, WorkTuff 2020 allows using the Azure Active Directory for authentication. The AAD settings are managed through the farm configuration. As a result, once an enterprise console has been configured to use AAD, users are first redirected to the company's login page prior to get access to the WorkTask portal. More enhancements have been made around WorkTask Pro, our mobile application. Especially the offline use cases have been expanded so that, for example, documentation attached to a work item is now made available while being offline. Last but not least, there is a boatload of smaller and larger changes coming in as continuous improvements. A highlight here is, for example, the introduction of a client-side cache. Thank you for watching.